morning, everyone. I'm Michelle, and it's amazing to be back with you guys, the Creative Mornings. I'm energized to be here right now, but about an hour and a half ago, I was not. And like most of you, I woke up, checked my social media, and realized the world was still on fire. And I am exhausted. And I thought, what are we going to do? How are we going to fix everything that is going on in our country and even our world? And I got sad for a second because I felt, I don't know if I have the answers. And then I remembered that during the course of history, the people who have made the most impactful change are people like us, the creatives the ones who think outside of the box, the ones who have always colored outside of the lines, the ones who have used our talents, either God-given or honed and crafted to make people see, feel, touch, inspire by our words, our actions, our art, our ministry, the things that we put out in the universe that people think are crazy, but ultimately change minds and hearts. It is us, the creative community that has inspired change for centuries. The time for us to inspire change once again is now. And I want each and every one of you out there to lean into that. The world needs our community right now. The community that knows in order to get to the tough answers you need to be creative with thought, mind, heart. Our time to step up is now. You like me might be feeling, I don't know, perhaps a little insecure about that. Well, that's okay. You're in the right place. Today's topic is on insecure. But I want you to lean into that discomfort. Lean into the things that scare you. Lean into the I can't and change that into, I will. Because again, the world needs us, the creative community, Charlotte, the place we all love needs us right now to lean into our discomfort and inspire others to change their minds, their thoughts, their actions. While it seems like there's chaos outside right now, there's no other place I would rather be this morning than with other creative people who get it, who understand that change starts with us, that understands that we will give the world visuals and tangibles and provoking words and art and movement and resources to create the community that we all wanna live in. This is the right time this is the right space. And this time, it feels different. I can't wait to start the work with all of you, the creative community, because we are the change agents. We are the change makers, because we've always been fighting for change since the very beginning. Let the work begin. Good morning, Creative Mornings. It's amazing to be here with you. Thank you for filling me, as I hope I'm filling you. Will you speak up, speak out with us, for us? Will you speak up, speak out with us, for us? Will you speak up, speak out with us? Speak up, speak out with us, for us. Will you speak up, speak out with us, for us. Will you speak up, speak out with us.
speak out with us for us now. Good morning, everyone. I'm Matt Olman. <laughs> I'm just a little, uh, sorry, I'm a little verklempt right now. Um, I'm Matt Olin. First and foremost, Michelle Gabadia, thank you. <clears throat> I needed to hear that uh, message this morning. And I'll bet uh, many of you needed to hear it too. And for those of you that don't know, Michelle is the Director of Fraternity and Sorority Life at UNC Charlotte. She's a renowned speaker and facilitator. She's also a former Creative Morning speaker. Uh, and we're just so honored that you kicked off our meeting this morning with your perspective, you know, on where we're at and, and what we can do about it. <clears throat> so thank you, Michelle. And thank you, Elisa Moore, for her Black Lives Matter uh, Matters anthem, Speak Up. Uh, you've lent your gorgeous voice to these times, and it is such a vital message. So thank you so much. And thank you, Harvey Cummings, for waking us up with that gorgeous music. If you like what you heard, and I know you did, please send Harvey a tip via Venmo. Okay, catching my breath here. Um, <clears throat> welcome Daybreak Legends to our June meeting. We've been calling it Zuma Palooza, episode three, Revenge of the Fifth, June 5th, that is. And again, I'm your host, Matt Olin of Charlotte is Creative. I'm so, so happy to see you, especially today, especially now. And a special shout out to those of you watching along live at our YouTube live stream. We're glad you're with us uh, as well. So as Michelle said, our June global theme is insecure. It's a word chosen by our Louisville chapter. The theme is illustrated by artist Rachel Sinclair. It's presented globally by wordpress.com. And what a theme this is for the moment we're in right now. You know, so many of us are feeling insecure. Let's be honest, not knowing what to do, what to say, how to move forward. You know, not knowing how to explain these, these times to our children. But I do find security in what Michelle shared with us, that creatives will lead the way, that we have the tools to change this world. And clearly each and every one of you is here this morning in part because you feel the need to connect, you know, to, to celebrate this superpower of creativity that we all have. And amidst all the pain and the heaviness of our current world, you're probably also create, uh, craving some joy, I would guess, some fun, some lightness. And as usual, we're gonna do our best to bring some of that to you today. You know, we've made some adjustments this month because we needed to, but still we need moments of lightness to counterbalance the hard work we're all being called to do in our communities, with each other, with ourselves. So just kick back for a little while, enjoy yourself for the next 90 minutes. You know, we've been hard at work cooking up a beautiful creative uh, breakfast buffet for you, shall we? Um, and unlike my, what my wife says, which is step away from the buffet, we're actually encouraging you to belly up to the, to the buffet this morning uh, and enjoy all the music and community and perspectives and inspiration that we have ready for you. We're also gonna have some sides of micro grants and games and gifts for y'all too. So just enjoy your cup of coffee. We'll have it all up for you soon. We've decided to end a tiny bit earlier this morning. We're aiming to wrap by 9.45, at which point we're gonna invite everyone just to unmute themselves and stick around if they want and, and, and chat with each other, sort of like a storming of the virtual stage. Uh, it'll probably be total chaos, but the kind of fun chaos that I can just kick back and watch spiral out of control. Um, finally, before we dive in, just a few housekeeping items for those of you who are new to Zoom or if you need a refresher from last month, first and foremost, choose speaker view, not gallery view, speaker view. You should see that option at the top right corner of your screen. This is gonna allow uh, the best view of who is speaking or performing. Secondly, everyone is muted by default. Please do keep yourself muted to keep the audio clear. Um, that said, please do turn your camera on. We wanna see your beautiful faces. You can interact with us this morning using the chat feature uh, or the two reaction icons, both at the bottom of your screen. And um, we're just, excited to be here and, and we're, we're, we're stretching out and reaching out and giving you a virtual hug and a high five this morning. All right, as you know, we have a manifesto here at Creative Mornings. It's our North Star. It keeps us grounded and focused and always aware of why we're gathering together each month. And sometimes we mention a phrase out of the manifesto, but this morning, in light of everything our community is going through right now, 
and in recognition of the role we all can and need to play in fixing our world, not to mention in honor of and memory of Ahmaud Aubrey and Sean Reed and Breonna Taylor and Tom Tony McDade and George Floyd and Keith Lamont Scott and too many others. I want to invite Charlotte author Patrice Gaines to read our manifesto aloud in full for all of us to hear. Patrice, would you please do us that honor? My pleasure. Everyone is creative. A creative life requires bravery and action, honesty and hard work. We are here to support you, celebrate with you, and encourage you to make the things you love. We believe in the power of community. We believe in giving a damn. We believe in face-to-face -face connections in learning from others in hugs and high fives. We bring together people who are driven by passion and purpose, confident that they will inspire one another, confident well, and inspire change in the neighborhoods and cities around the world. Everyone is welcome. Thank you so much, Patrice Gaines. We love you. Um, and this is the power of creativity. This is the power of creativity and why we come together each month. To serve as a reminder that we are creative, we're powerful. And it's with our bravery and our action and our honesty and our hard work that we can do the thing that some people think is impossible, you know, which is to change our system, change our society, change the world. Um, so thank you again, Patrice, for giving the manifesto your voice this morning. It helps so much. Um, okay. Speaking of welcoming, I'd now like to welcome Charlotte's own DJ Fannie Mae from Fair Play to share a bit about that important, important initiative that they're behind and also to introduce this morning's musical guest to the Charlotte Star Room music stage. So get your Venmo tips ready. DJ Fannie Mae, the floor is yours. Good morning, everyone. I am DJ Fannie Mae and I am a DJ and artist here on the Charlotte music scene and I am also a founding member a Fair Play Music Equity Initiative, where our mission here in, here in Charlotte is to make us and to be a part of creating and taking on and bringing everybody together because and here in Charlotte and across the world, our difference is what makes us different. Um, this is what makes a difference. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You can follow us all Fair Play at Fair Play CLT dot com or by following us on, on, us on Instagram at Fair Play CLT. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful group of people. We come together. We talk about different issues here in Charlotte, and we honestly are, you know, talking and have been talking about everything that's going on in America and across the world right now, and just really showing that you know coming together as one is what's going to make us stronger. So without further ado, I would like you guys to put your virtual hands together and help me welcome the Charlotte Star, Star Room stage performer featuring, uh, featuring Lane Mansfield. And she's amazing, she's gonna go, go hard and enjoy. Hi, thank you guys so much for having me. Um, I'm Lane Mansfield, I'm 14 years old and I'm going to Myers Park High School. And I would just like to thank Alexis from Charlotte Star Room and John Tosco for helping me write this song. And also I perform around Charlotte sometimes if y'all are ever around No Dog. Um, I'm usually at the Evening Muse. So come out and see me. So this is my original song called Without You and I hope you guys enjoy it. Place. 
over, over again. We watch as we come, come to an end. Over, over again. I, I watch you walk. Walk away, but there's something that pulls me back to you after everything that we've been through. Our love, our love was true. Now I'm standing here without you. We, we did it in work, but now our time has come to change the course. Over, over again, we watch as we come, come to an end. Over, over again, I'm, I'm watching you walk, walk. Away. But there's something that pulls me back to you after everything that we've been through. Our love, our love was true. Now I'm standing here without you. I don't think you love me enough. You just try to hurt me, but I don't think I loved you enough to let it break me. But there's something that pulls me back to you after everything that we've been through. Our love, our love was true. Now I'm standing here without you. Now I'm standing here without you. Thank you. Thank you, Lane. That was, um, I'm with Matt. This is uh, using the music this morning, um, I think is tapping into something that we were all feeling. Um, thanks to Lane Mansfield, that was beautiful. Thank you for getting up and sharing your talents with us. DJ Fannie Mae, thank you for being here to talk to us about fair play and for everything you've been doing in the community for the last, I mean, forever. You, you are changing lives in Charlotte. And fair play and John Tosco and Tosco music, those are just, two incredible music initiatives, teachers, mentors, guiders, organizers that are that are making incredible change in our city. And uh, an evidence of that is the next Tosco Music Party. If you guys missed the first one last month, it was an amazing hour of musicians across the Charlotte and across the United States uh, playing for everyone staying at home in COVID and raising money for the CLT Music Fund that was put together by Fair Play Music um, 
Equity Initiative and the Music Everywhere Initiative out of Charlotte Center City Partners. John Tosco arranged an incredible, just smorgasbord of musicians to come and entertain us at home and he's doing it again. So on Saturday, June 20th at 8 p.m., you can tune in. Thankfully, a $10,000 uh, grant from the Charlotte Mecklenburg COVID-19 Response Fund makes that possible. And 100% of the money raised that night is gonna go to the CLT Music Fund. You will do amazing things for the musicians in our city that are, are hurting, and you're going to really have your soul lifted by John and Fair Play and what they put together. So please, please tune into that. Now, in order to keep the creativity going, as one of our former speakers, Stacy Cassio said, creativity needs your money. It needs your claps. It needs your, it, your love. It needs, you know, opportunity, but it also needs absolute money and funds. So thankfully, because of the uh, sponsors of Charlotte Center, or excuse me, Charlotte is creative, we're able to give out hug grants, $250 micro grants every month. And in order to share this month's winners, I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Kara Diaz. She's also a former hug grant winner. Uh, and this is a woman that never takes many plays off. Okay, so in addition to working for La Coalition, the Latin American coalition, and owning a screen printing business, Inca Print, and founding CLT en Espanol, she is someone who just raises people up everywhere she goes. And I'd like to introduce you to Caro right now, who will tell you a little bit about, more about her experience and about this month's hugs. Good morning, everyone. And team, thank you so much for such an amazing interview. Um, I'm with all of you in the feeling and solidarity with our brothers and sisters. Um, I'm really, really happy to be here today. And I'm also really thankful for this community that you guys have created. Um, before we start, um, I would like to say that the hug grants uh, for a little while, they were $100. And now the hug grants are starting July. They're going to be $250 each. And that is possible thanks to the generosity of individuals in business like T. Reed and Company, Savvy and Co, which is a real estate company and Google Fiber. So we thank you so much for making those possible for helping creatives like me start and, and move, you know, continue to create. Um, CLT in Espanol is a digital magazine that focuses on arts and culture for the Latino community, uh, raising up those voices and highlighting those artists that maybe otherwise wouldn't have a space in the media. And, and that sort of aligns a little bit with what CLT's creative is doing in Charlotte. My personal experience is that as a creative, we need that validation. The grant for me was more than $250. It created a network. I met a great friend. Uh, Tim really means that everyone is welcome. He mean it. When he say it, it's not a statement. It is in his actions. It is in the people he supports. Uh, and so I'm really, really thankful for that. And it also meant that we could, um, you know, physically we could register the company and, and have it as a more serious business other than a hobby. So that is what the Hug Grant is doing for the creative community in Charlotte. And we want to share that with everyone. So thank you so much. And with that said, um, I guess we're gonna <laughs> announce the winners of the Hug Grant this month. We have Tony Reed for Podcast and Media, Keja Dunn for Performing Arts, Don Gibson for Visual Arts, Mitchell Kearney and Kermer Watson for Creative Community Engagement, the Dean's List, the Dottie Rose Foundation. Thank you, Carol. Uh, um, <clears throat> you got me uh, clumped now. Uh, this is a morning. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I so. forgot to say one more thing. Um, as you guys were speaking, 
um, we're also part of that change and we can use our talents to make that change happen. And this is one way that we can make that change. So besides receiving the grant, we can also donate, or if you are creative and you haven't applied, go ahead and apply. And this is one way also we can make a difference. Thank you. Uh, I actually forgot to introduce myself earlier. Uh, I got carried away. I'm Tim Miner. I am the, the co-host of, of Creative Morning Charlotte. And one of my absolute favorite things to do is to share with, with the community the people that inspire us. And so thanks to our friends at The Savage Way and Ortho Carolina, every month at Creative Morning Charlotte, we give a bolt of inspiration to the people that and, and companies that inspire us to go deeper, move forward, change things, look at Charlotte and the world in a different way. Um, the bolt of inspiration is actually a bolt. It is a, a piece of art that is moss art that the Savage Way builds. Uh, it's gorgeous. And it's a physical reminder that the people to whom we award it change everyone around them. You know, Matt and I have a saying that we like to, to bandy about when we're having days that are challenging is that creatives lead the way. That we have the ability to imagine a future that maybe others can't or to find a place of commonality in that we all have that creative spark. And some the, the winner this month of the Bolt of Inspiration is Eric Nadello with MacFly Fresh. And really it's for his entire company because they... Everywhere they go, they not only spread creativity and joy and positivity, but they, they explore possibility and create opportunity. It may look just like a, a print shop, right? A screen printing business, but it's so much more than that. It's so positive. They have the McFly Fresh mobile kit that goes to schools and shows students, gives them a glimpse of what it's like to be a graphic designer, what their future could be in a creative endeavor. They have the new YouTube series live from the print shop that came out during COVID. It's incredible. It's beautifully shot. It's masterfully done, but the music there is uplifting and it's surrounded by creativity as the playing is going on, the screen printing is going on. If you've been to, I mean, almost any street festival over the last couple of years, you've seen Eric and his team out there printing shirts, teaching kids. I got to know him because my daughter wanted to screen print her own shirt. Eric taught her how to do that. He inspires everywhere he goes. It's amazing. If you haven't been up to Camp North End to see their studio, you need to do it. We have a beautiful profile of him coming out in the biscuit in the next 24 hours. Get to know him. And actually, you don't have to take it from me. You can get to know him right now because Eric is going to share this month's Who Built Me story because nobody gets to where they are in life without a lot of people helping. Each of us has that ability to take time, energy, effort, take our wisdom, take our money, take our awareness and share it with someone else to help shape them and build them. And so now I'd like to introduce you to Eric. I do want to say he and I have come up, you know, we've crossed a very large barrier to become friends. There are a lot of differences between us. He went to North Carolina State University. I went to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. There's a lot of, there's a lot of pent up feelings there, but somehow we figured out how to be friends. Eric, the floor is yours for your Who Built Me story. Hey, how's it going? Well, um, first of all, I want to say thank you for the opportunity to come up here and be able to share my Who Built Me story. Well, there are a lot of people in my life who actually got me to where I am, who, who built me. But in this particular situation, I wanted to highlight my homie, Adam Peel from AH Studios in Raleigh, North Carolina. So let me take you back to 2014. I had the opportunity to be a part of the Congolese International Film Festival in Eastern Congo in a town called Goma. And in this situation, um, it was my first time going back home to the Congo to be able to actually teach. But the wild thing about the situation is that I talked myself into teaching a two week screen printing and branding course, right? Now, at this point in time in my life, I knew all about branding and screen printing was a part of my life, but I had never actually screen printed at this time in 2014. So I reached out to my boy, Adam Phil two days before I was to go up to DC to get on the plane <laughs> at Dulles and fly over to the Congo. But this guy, Adam Peel, took time out of his busy day. And as a business owner, I understand 
busy days and having your workload and being able to step away from your workload to actually help somebody else. He took 12 hours out of his day, out of his life, to teach me the fundamentals of screen printing from top to bottom, from emulsifying to burning screens to, and being that I was going to the Congo, I wasn't sure about the resources, where they're gonna have unlimited supplies of inks, where they're gonna have unlimited supplies of screens, where we're gonna be able to get squeegees if they broke. So I was trying to go into it with the mentality of, let's be able to use rudimentary or uh, things that we could find out anywhere to be able to screen print. So he taught me how to screen print with fruits, berries, anything that can give me a dye or an ink. Blew my mind. This opportunity allowed me to go over to the Congo, teach this course for two weeks, teach the youth for the first time in my motherland with confidence. That taught me also that I had to pass the torch as well. Um, as a business owner, that's why MacFly is really built the way it's built so we can give access to individuals in the same way he gave access to me. We're very creative individuals, but sometimes we just don't have access to put us on a level playing field. And that's what he did for me. And that's what I want to now extend to others. So Adam Peel, AA Studios, you helped build me and I appreciate that. Thank you, brother. Well, thank you so much, Eric, for sharing that story. Um, I find it so inspiring to hear stories about how we can positively impact the lives of those around us and those that cross our paths, just like the story that you just told about Adam uh, Peel at AH Studios. Um, so thank you so much. And thank you for the work you're doing in the community as well. We love, we just love uh, seeing you out there and, and calling you a friend and a colleague. Uh, we're gonna keep these Who Built Me stories coming in the months to come, because we think they're important. And on a related note, I do have a special announcement for all the men in the house. Ladies, we love you, but this, this announcement is for the men in the house who like the idea of helping Charlotte and earning a 50, easy 50 bucks in the process. So our friends at the Brookings Institute have a project, uh, it's an interview project, and it's called How We Rise Charlotte. And uh, they've had really good female participa uh, participation, but they now need more men of all ages and backgrounds to, be, uh, to agree to be interviewed. Uh, it's really easy. You're going to be asked questions about how you use your personal connections to access opportunities and who you discuss important matters with, like child care, education, college, careers, housing, things like that. It's a virtual one-on-one -on -one interview, and you're going to get 50 bucks uh, as a show of appreciation. So, fellas, can we count on you? If so, sign up for an interview. You just go to howwerise.org, howwerise.org, or just email HWR Charlotte at gmail.com. And as Tim said, if you love learning about all these creatives like Eric and all these folks you've seen so far, um, as much as we do, then, you know, sign up for the biscuit. That's our newsletter. Uh, you can do so at biscuitclt.com. You're going to hear about McFly Fresh. You're going to hear about inter, uh, initiatives like Fair Play and all the work being done by folks like, like the Hug Grant recipients uh, and the people you meet here at Creative Mornings as well. So it's a way to dive deeper into creativity happening all over the Queen City, biscuitclt.com. Tim, there is no way we could do any of this without our sponsors, right? We talk about this all the time. So we have some amazing, generous, steadfast sponsors who deserve some love. Normally we do that in song form here, but we're gonna just take a little, little bit of a detour this, this morning. Uh, we're gonna do something different. Because as the German poet Novalis said in the 18th century, oh, poetry no. heals the wounds inflicted by reason. Yes, I'm quoting an 18th century German poet. You were paying attention in English class in, uh, in college. I thought you were asleep. <laughs> so look, in this time of emotional chafing, I think we need to apply the healing balm of poetry to thank our sponsors, but not just any poetry, Dr. Seuss poetry. After all, COVID life has been surreal very surreal. Sometimes I feel like I'm living in a Dr. Seuss poem, but really it's because we're all home teachers now and we love teachers more than ever. So Tim, let's, let's, uh, let's thank our sponsors in this way. Okay. I'm ready. You ready to kick it off? All right, everyone get comfortable. Everyone after this will have milks and nap time. All right. <laughs> Ortho. Oh no. Boingo. Backhoe. While bouncing my boingo got hit by a backhoe. I need help. Oh no. 
Call Matt's mom and go get Ortho. Blue Thumb, Red Thumb. Green Thumb, New Thumb. Now it's time that you show you thumb to show some thanks to our pals at Skookum. Four Eyes likes pies. Chef Ron makes pies. Hey guys, no lies. Four Eyes cries when Ron eats all the pies. I agree with Adam Brooks. This needs a Dre beat. The circle, <laughs> the circle is creative. Creative is the circle. Tim is round, just like a circle. He'll probably say that that was hurtful. I'm headed into a shame spiral now. Thanks a lot. Um, it's summertime at Providence Day, so there's no homework, time to play, no algebra or chemistry, no Spanish class and no PE, no art class or history, so turn the dial to FAE. MailChimp, Big Blimp, WordPress, Nerd Stress, Basecamp, Faceplant. MailChimp's Big Blimp set in motion, a flurry of geeky nerd emotion. Tim's WordPress dork rant on Basecamp, we posted his epic faceplant. You're really going after me today. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Coffee, cup. Stars are up. Pure intentions fills my cup. With fresh brewed coffee every day, Star Rooms photoshops Matt's gray <laughs> and keeps him looking oh so bay. With star rooms in the stars in the room and pure intentions in our cup, we think things are looking up. Folks, we love our sponsors. Normally we sing to them, but we just felt poetry in our heart this morning. So thank you sponsors for supporting us. And I also want to thank, oh, there we are, thing one and thing two. That's about <laughs> right. Nothing much has changed since high school, it seems. No. Nope. Uh, <laughs> I also wanted to further declare my flaming phase two infatuation for our global sponsors. MailChimp, Basecamp, and WordPress.com. They support the Creative Mornings community on a global level. 216 volunteer run chapters all around the world. So thank you again to MailChimp, Basecamp, and WordPress.com. All right, we got a fun moment now because now is the time to win, right? If, you, if you've been to Creative Mornings before, you know we love to play games, give away prizes, and now is the time to win. So this morning, we've got a great game for you. Last week, we put out the call on social media for contestants to participate in a live dance-off competition during this morning's event. That's right, you heard me right. We're about to do a live dance-off competition. I'm so excited to introduce three to you to three of our fellow charlatans who are ready to show off their moves as they dance fight it out for sweet prizes. Our three contestants this morning are Alice Cristina Vallejo, Luis Washington Bayon and Rory Valamont. So thank you, Elise, Luis, and Rory for answering the call to boogie down for our Zumapalooza enjoyment. And in light of our theme of insecure this morning, I have to say I'm sort of in awe of your confidence to step right up and get to step in. Uh, now, before they unleash their moves, I wanna take a moment to meet our guest choreographer, Charlatan Lindsay Rodolico Anson. I hope I'm saying your, your name correctly. Lindsay recently choreographed Live Nation's Kids Bop Tour, Bop Live, and previously worked at Madison Square Garden as the director of event presentation and, and uh, entertainment for the New York Knicks and the Liberty. Her professional dancing career in arena football with John Bon Jovi and Philly Soul back in 2004. And in LA, she choreographed music videos and performances and even worked with the iconic rock band Kiss. Uh, and for the WNBA, she was the director of enter entertainment, gamer op operations, and promotions for the long Sparks. Um, she has done so much amazing stuff and she we brought her in to teach our three contestants the choreography for the dance off so Lindsay thank you for bringing your dancing genius this morning to the creative mornings how are you hi Matt hi Tim thanks for having me now Lindsay uh last week we asked you to teach each of our three contestants the same choreography to a 15 second piece of music and I gotta know how was that experience for for all of you Oh, we had so much fun. I mean, on the same topic, everyone mentioned already that creatives will lead the way. I can guarantee you that these three unique individuals today will lead their way right into your heart. Um, if you haven't smiled in a while, you are guaranteed to make your heart smile today. 
Um, we're always told that dance is the universal language and we are all going to be so joyful after this contest. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you, Lindsay, for saying yes to being part of the fun. I really appreciate it. Steve, do you think we could, we should play the clip, the 15 second clip one time so our attendees can hear what the three contestants are going to be dancing to? Wow, you can really dance. Wow, you can really dance. He went. He went. They said we've both been dancing all this time. Oh, what a coincidence. All right, so that song is going to be stuck in all of your heads for the rest of the weekend. All right, that's the clip. I think it's time for the live dance off. So, folks, Watch each of them do their routine, and when you, and then we're going to send you a quick poll to vote on who you believe should win. This is very interactive. Uh, that poll should pop up in your screen in about a minute or so. So, just vote for your choice. Alice, Luis, Rory, I hope you're all ready. Let's kick things off with Alice Christina Vallejo. It is your. House. Hey, what up? I'm Elise. I'm so excited to be here. I have my amazing assistant Amelia Jean helping me this morning. Let's do this. Elise, you're playing your music. Oh, I'm playing my music? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Let's see, let me pull it up real quick. I thought y'all oh. were playing it. My bad. Oh, no problem. It's all good. All right, I'm gonna play it from my phone. See if you can hear it. Yes! <laughs> it is It is not easy going first, but y'all kicked us off. So thank you. Now we see the moves. And yes, I agree. You can really dance. Let's move to <laughs> Luis Washington Bayon. I hope I'm saying that right. Luis, are you ready to show us your moves? Yes, I am. I'm, I was born ready. Um, hey, everyone. My name's Luis. <laughs> Uh, I'm a yoga instructor, and my friend Elise um, encouraged me to do this. So, uh, thanks for having me, and let's get started. All right, y'all. Wow, you can really dance. Wow, you can really dance. He went. He went. <laughs> okay, so you added you ended that one with a with a handstand and an upward dog. It looks like kind of threw in. You got it, man. You got it. That was exactly what I went for. A little improvising. Okay, all right. That was amazing. You can really dance. Our third and final contestant is Rory Valamont. Rory, are you ready to show us your moves? Yes. Oh, yes, I love it. You gonna introduce yourself? Yeah. Okay, okay you ready, Ro? Yeah. Okay. Wow, you can really dance. Wow, you can really dance. He went. He went. He said we've both been dancing all this time. Oh, what a coincidence. Yes! Yes! I had no idea if this was going to work. Oh, yeah. It worked. As far as I'm concerned, this worked. Rory, that was an amazing, beautiful dance. Yeah. Okay, folks, it's time for you yeah. to decide who wins the dance off. You should have a poll that just popped up on your screen. Just vote for the person that you think should win, Elise, Luis, or Rory. And, uh, so it just click and submit and we will reveal the winner. We're, in, we're at, Tim, we're in the great unknown here. This is all new territory, all new domain for us. I, uh, I that was an impossible decision. Uh, <laughs> it was. It's, it's a lot easier decision than I'm gonna have in November. Yeah. I mean, a lot harder decision than I'm gonna have in November. Harder, 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 harder. the word is harder. <laughs> okay. 
Um, Steve, when you're ready, when you feel like it, the, the poll is clear and, and, and you have an idea of who the winner is, let us know, uh, reveal to us. It looks like with 73%, Rory is the winner of the dance-off. Wow, congratulations, Rory. I mean, this is, this is tough though, right? Because I, how do you, you know. I was in that that was an impossible decision. It was, it was. Well, listen, thank you for playing Elise, Luis, and Rory. And while Rory may have earned the title of Dance Off Champion this morning, there are no losers at Creative Mornings, which means all three of you are gonna receive an awesome gift basket from our friends at Pure Intentions Coffee. Of course, it's just occurring to me that Rory, you might not drink coffee. I'm not sure, but we will send you something else too that's more age appropriate. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think we have two extra prizes we're going to need to get for non-coffee drinkers that participated in this. Uh... I think you're probably right. I think you're probably right. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for playing. Congratulations. Um, thank you, Matt. Everyone at Pure Intentions Coffee for your support. And thanks again to our guest choreographer, Lindsay Rodolico Anson, for sharing your gift with us here at Zuma Palooza. Um, that was really fun. Okay, we have arrived at our main event, Jose Alvarez. Now, Jose is the vice president of Prospera, North Carolina, and his professional experience and passion for the past two decades has been focused on the multicultural small business and marketing fields. He's worked in PR, managing major bilingual and multicultural public relations campaigns. He's worked in the native, his native Venezuela uh, at one of the largest um, cultural binational centers in Latin America. And he has uh, had a celebrated career at Prospera. Uh, Prospera's mission is to help start, sustain, and grow Hispanic owned businesses to achieve community prosperity. And in 2017, he was tapped to open the Charlotte office of Prospera as part of the national expansion strategy to increase economic opportunities for Hispanics through entrepreneurship. Uh, it was actually the first Prospera office to be established outside of their Florida headquarters. And Jose manages all, all the operations statewide. Uh, so with that, ladies and gentlemen, here to speak to us on our global theme of insecure, please welcome Charlotte's own Jose Alvarez. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I, I, I'm not sure I want to talk. I, I, I feel like I want to dance now after after seeing those folks. <laughs> I'm with you, Jose. I'm with awesome. You. That was awesome. Thank, so thank you, team and Matt and the and the Creative Mornings team for the invitation. I was I'm a huge fan. I was elated when I got the invitation to talk. I couldn't believe it. So thank you so very much. And hello to all creatives. Uh, it is it is really a pleasure. Um, I'm gonna talk. I'm, I'm not gonna talk long. I'm just gonna hopefully get a message across to you to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, what how I experienced some of my insecurities and in overcame them through through what, what I love to do. And hopefully that'll that'll get to some of you and and and, and inspire you. But um, just just to give you a little bit of background, I'm a, I'm a proud, as you could hear from my uh, introduction. Uh, I'm a proud immigrant. I am originally from Venezuela. I um, came to this na amazing nation back in 1995, in the mid 90s, as a very insecure, eight-year-old uh, young man who who knew wanted to have, make a difference and do something with his life, but wasn't sure about what to do. Um, so uh, originally. Believe it or not, when I came here, I first went to Southern Mississippi. I went to the University of Southern Mississippi in Hattiesburg to learn English. And uh, a funny story, you know, the first, the first, I remember the first month that I was, I was at the English Institute. I learned to use the phrase "over yonder" in almost every situation in my life. So that was quite a, that was quite a, a an interesting uh, culture shock for me. But uh, it wasn't amazing experience in the South. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a product of uh, uh, the Southern education, if you will. Uh, it, is, it, is, uh, it was an incredible experience learning what this nation is all about. Um, as you know, the U.S. Uh, is a nation made up of, mim of immigrants and the Charlotte region and the North Carolina state, is, it, 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 they're no exception. So as I learned uh, you know about this amazing nation through history classes in college. I realized how beautiful uh, diversity is and how much diversity diversity has impacted uh, 
uh, this beautiful nation. So that was my first learning about this nation, about my new culture, was very insecure, like I mentioned. And I was starting to see um, how impactful that, that is um, and how much impact uh, diversity has had in history. And so I was starting to wonder, hmm, so this is a very opening nation to, to immigrants, um, even though you know it was in Southern Mississippi. And I was starting to get comfortable with my student, international student life, and I was making friends. And then all of a sudden I started to get insecure again because a big event was gonna happen and that was graduation. So I initially went to, um, to get my, after I got my English studies, I, I, I got my AA degree. And so I, I had to figure out oh, now what do I want to study? I got my AA degree. Um, I was transferred to, you know, was, I found a nice uh, university down in Orlando, University of Central Florida, because I, I thought I had found my calling. I wanted to be a, a cinematographer. I went to um, initially enroll for uh, film school at UCF and uh, I realized that wasn't quite what I liked. So uh, I just went for overall um, advertising and public relations. I graduated from it. And then I found myself working for an ad advertising and public relations agency, which brought me a lot of experience and in, in, in information to add to my resume, but I was still insecure about what I wanted to do. Uh, one thing led to another. Uh, I found myself working for Prospera for the organization that I work for, uh, which as you heard, it's an organization that helps Latino entrepreneurs, Latino immigrants start businesses uh, to make a better life here in the US. Um, and let me tell you what a life-changing event that was. Um, I'm a big fan of superheroes. And, and the reason why super, I love superheroes is superheroes have powers to help others. So when, when I found this job, you know, it, it's a nonprofit that help others uh, be independent economically and find their way in this community and become good neighbors, et cetera, et cetera. So I found myself, hmm, this is interesting. Um, and so I was very lucky to work for a nonprofit that provides this service. I really can relate to what the mission is. And uh, in doing so, I met people in my career that had really inspired me and helped me overcome my insecurities as to what I wanted to do in life. Two examples of those is one of my best friends, his name is um, Miguel Angel Perez. Miguel Perez, who is a journalist, you can find him, he's a blogger as well, you can find him on Twitter at Miguel Angel Per, P-E-R, Miguel Angel P-E-R. Um, he is uh, a guy that I really admire. He found his calling, like I mentioned, he's a journalist and he's had tough times throughout his career, even given opportunities to change careers, but he never gave up. He always do, did what he loved doing because it's just in his heart. And so he is the type of person like me who found a career who just, you know, come five o'clock Friday, we're already thinking about Monday. You know, every, every day we wake up on the morning really looking forward to, to, to doing what we do. So it is, uh, it is an incredible feeling. Um, the, the other real role model that I recently found about is um, a, a, a gentleman by, na by the name of Marquis Brownlee. He's actually a, um, this guy's amazing. He's a 26 year old technology focused content creator on YouTube and he's also a podcaster. I mean, he's got millions of followers. This is a 26 year old making a lot of money doing what he loves to do. So this guy, I'm sure he has overcome many of his uh, insecurities by just, just getting paid for what he loves to do the most. So, uh, you, you know, those, those are the type of people who are creatives, who, are, who, are, who just found their calling and they just inspire me. And, and I, I, really, I really hope and I want you to take this this evening. I know it's easier said than done. You know, try to find the job, try to find something that you love to do. Uh, hey, if, if flipping burgers at McDonald's, there's nothing wrong with that, makes you happy, just do that. 
just I think we need during these times in these amazing nations, we need more people who are happier with what they're doing. And if you find a job or a hobby or a part-time job that makes you happy, please do so. Um, we need more like these happy people uh, in our community, in our lives. So um, thank you again, Creative Mornings for the invitation. Um, I'm just a random Latino guy rambling and talking about what he loves to do the most and, and how he has overcome his insecurities through his career. But uh, I really hope you take that, you know, today away today. Um, make sure you love what you do, uh, give the best, and that will make you a better citizen, which is exactly what we need right now in this nation. So thank you. Well, thank you so much, Jose, for sharing that perspective on our theme. That um, resonates and is very relevant to so many of us. Now, before we end with a few final announcements and a virtual storming of the stage, we've just got hit with a lot of themes around, uh, ideas around the theme of insecure, new ideas, new perspectives. So for the next 60 seconds, we're gonna throw the spotlight on Shane Maynard. Shane is a national spoken word artist a creative coach, a teaching artist for many organizations in Charlotte, and the founder of Guerrilla Poets, a nonprofit with branches in the US and in the UK. And if you're so moved, please do send her some love in the form of some, Zen of some Venmo tips. Daybreak Legends, I give you Shane Maynard. Who told you that you were powerless? Every move you make causes an effect. I could think of nothing more powerful than that. So when you look at yourself in the mirror today, Take note of the light behind your eyes. There's a reason why. A resurrection is paired with a phoenix. You can feel the fire breathing. There ain't no story like your story. Ain't no better time than now to become a sun and burn the blotch of space to explode light from your heart like a million stars couldn't be contained. So let it rain down rabid dogs and hissing cats. Honey, you got a soul full of words and a pen like a bat. Let it thunder so loud that it shakes the ground. Just tell them this ground already fell down and you just been running on the air. Tsunami waves can take its place with a roar like a lion. Honey, just shout out louder right in the face of the Titan. Tell them you're gonna show them how to walk on water like your God's daughter, because that's how strong you are. And that's the love you have to offer. Don't succumb to the doubt of insecurity. You are a grand, beautiful being and you are full of so much possibility. Thank you. Thank you, Shane Maynard. Thank you so much. Send her some tips, folks. We needed that burst of inspiration near the end here. And there you have it. That's Zuma Palooza, episode three of Revenge of the Fifth. I want to thank our CM volunteer team. I want to thank Jose Alvarez, John Tosco for sharing your stories. Thank you, uh, Harvey Cummings, Lane Mansfield, Fair Play for bringing to the Charlotte Fire Music stage. Thank you, Lindsay and Elise and Louise and Rory. The light's fantastic. And thank you to Tori Savage and Kate Manier. Special thank you to all of our sponsors. We couldn't do any of it without you. It's such a stupid tech genius on these morning. And thanks to each and every one of you for being with us this morning. We're going to be sending out an email soon with information about next month. For those of you tuning in from around the world, I do have to say, from Charlotte with love, thank you, Trash Genius made this shirt. Charlotte's own Trash Genius. Love you all. We do invite you now to unmute, storm the stage, say hi to each other. Happy birthday. Oh. Yeah. Happy birthday. 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 Happ